I'm currently in one of my quizzes that I've created for my class. And when I created this quiz, I used question banks to be able to randomize the order of the questions. Now, if I wanted to share this quiz with colleagues, I could go to the gear and say share to commons, and they can access my test or my quiz. However, when it gets pulled into their account, it has the right number of questions, but there's no associated question bank that gets transferred over. They just get a quiz and they cannot randomize the questions in like, you know, they can't have it be different versions of the test for different students. So I don't recommend sharing just the test because I think most teachers are going to want the questions randomized. Now, there's not an easy way to share the question banks. If I go to manage my question banks, there's no share to commons. So if I wanted to share question banks with a colleague, what I need to do is go to settings in my course and then choose export course content. Now, I am going to export an entire course. If I choose quiz, again, it just takes a pre-made quiz, not the question banks. So quiz will not randomize the question. So you want to do course. And then I'm going to say create export. And it's going to take a few minutes for it to export your entire course, depending on how much content that you have in there. You can go ahead and leave this page. You will get an email when the export has finished. So I just received an email that my export was finished, so I'm going to click View, and it will bring me back to the same page within my exports, and I'm going to choose the top one, which is the most recent export that I've done, and I'm going to download this export onto my computer. Now, when I have this downloaded file, I'm going to email it to the person I want to share my test banks with. Then what that teacher is going to do once they've downloaded the file from their email to their computer, they're going to go into their course that they want to put the test banks in. So I'm in a course that I'm going to put my test banks in, and I'm going to go to settings. And then I'm going to choose import course content. And I need to choose the content type, which is going to be a Canvas course export package. I need to choose the file, and this is the file that I just downloaded from the email. And I don't want all content. All content would include their assignments, their modules, their discussions. You don't want that. You just want specific content. And then you're going to say import. This may take a few minutes. Once it's done, you're going to see a green button that says select content. You're going to click on that. And you're going to go over to quizzes and question banks. If you want the exact quiz, you would choose quizzes. This, if I click this, it would get all 14. Or if you click on the arrow, it will allow you to choose them. But I just want to copy over the question banks. So again, if I want all question banks, I'm going to click on the check box and it will select all 22. Or I can click on the arrow and then I can choose what particular question banks I want to copy into my course. So I'm going to choose, let's say, Unit 1, and then I'm going to, maybe I'll do Unit 1 multiple choice as well. I'm going to select content, and it is going to import them into my course. It says it's completed, so now if I go to Quizzes, and then I go up to the gear, to manage question banks, I can see here's unit one, here's unit one multiple choice. So those were both brought over. When I want to create a quiz, using those banks, I'm just going to go to quizzes, add a quiz. You'd fill out your details about the quiz, but I'm going to go over to questions, and I want to do a new question group, and you can name it if you want, but I want to link it to one of those question banks. So I'm going to say link to question bank. Um, I'm actually seeing more here than are just in the course because it's my account. But let's say I went, wanted questions from unit one multiple choice. There are 19 questions there. I'm going to select a bank. I can choose all 19 
or I can choose maybe just five of them and it will randomly choose five from that bank. So it's up to you how you want that to work. And then you can choose how many questions each one is. When you are pulling it from a bank this way, it's gonna randomize the questions and each question has to be the same number of points. Then I'm gonna say create group. If I just wanted to pull individual questions and not worry about them being randomized, I could say find questions, choose the bank, and pick a particular question that I might want. And then I could have just a question in there. Now, by pulling them in as question groups, it randomizes the order that each student has that so gives them different versions of the exam. In details, I can choose to shuffle the answers as well. So it will shuffle the questions because I pulled them in from a group. If I click this box, it will shuffle all the answer choices. So be careful if you say all of the above is an answer. If you shuffle the answers, all of the above might be at the top. So I normally change that to choose all of the other answer choices instead of all of the above.